Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to make our Mushroom Man disappear when we stand on him. Nothing too difficult yet again, but it's just the whole process of having these enemies how you want them to have. Uh, i.e. we want it to be crushed and we want to do it now. There's no point getting him to move and we can't do anything with him. So to do that, what we're going to need to do is we need to add another cube to our Mushroom Man. So right click, uh, 3D object and cube. We're going to zoom in a touch. Now we want to position this cube above the Mushroom Man's head. So let's put it about there. Let's decrease the scale to 0 0.1. Um, in fact, that's gone a bit funky there. Um, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So we need to make it so as it's rather minuscule above the mushroom man's head because we don't want to be able to run into the mushroom and make the mushroom disappear because we need to have other colliders at the side of it. But we'll get into that in another episode, I think. So we have this cube here. Uh, I'm going to right click, rename, and let's just call it Death Collider. And I'm going to tick Is Trigger just there. The reason being is because we want our uh, player, third person controller, to interact with that as a trigger and perform the script we're going to write. So this script, uh, right click, create, JavaScript. Um, I'm going to call this script um, mushroom man death. So open it up in mono develop or visual studio, whichever, and delete everything you've got. Now, the only variable that we're really going to need for this script is the actual Mushroom Man himself. Now, theoretically, we'll be destroying the script along the way as well. So as, if you don't follow this exactly, you may come up with problems and it may not actually work as intended for you. So I am going to start with my variable and I'm just going to call it Mushroom Man. It's going to be of type game object semicolon so the function we're going to use is hopefully you would have guessed it by now it's the same as what we've done for the coins and it's on trigger enter so um, function on trigger enter open bracket and as I do as standard in pretty much all my tutorials in the brackets we put col, colon, and collider, capital C on collider, close bracket, open curly bracket. So what we need to do is we need to perform several different things at this point. Firstly, we need to get rid of the box collider on this trigger, because if it's constantly there, this script will constantly trigger, and the mushroom man will basically never disappear. It'll keep going and going and going and going. So what we need to do is this dot get component open bracket quote and we need to type here box collider quote close um, bracket and dot enabled equals false. Now just to show you what I mean by this is every object, for example, this death collider has in this case box collider. So missing out any spaces, for example, if we were to use the mesh renderer, we'd miss out, miss out the space there. So it'd be all one word mesh renderer. So for us, it's all one word box collider in the quotes. So we're referencing that component in the object this script has been attached to. Then what we need to do is we need to stop our mushroom man from moving. So remember, your mushroom man has this one. So mushroom man move. So we need to disable that component in him. So it's going to be mushroom man dot get component and in brackets and quotes you need to put mushroom man move quote close bracket dot enabled equals false. 
So we've disabled that script at this point as well. So we will stop moving. Next thing we need to do is we need to reduce the size of our mushroom man. So we need to make him shrink like he would in the Super Mario game. So we can do mushroom. Oops, sorry, we need to go on the next line there. Mushroom man dot transform dot local scale. Now, one thing to note there, local scale, make sure you put a lowercase l and an uppercase s there, otherwise this won't work. Then you need minus, equal. So we need to shrink him um, by, um, I'd say 0 0.8 maybe. So in, um, I think is 0 0.8, what size do we actually have? Let's quickly check our mushroom then. So we want to just make sure this decreases. Um, okay, so it's not the y-axis. We need to decrease on the z because I have that there. So yeah, it's going to be the z or z-axis for me. So just double check which one you're changing here because we want to crush downwards. So make sure you do the right one there. So local scale, um, then we need to put minus equals, then new vector. Uh, three, open bracket, and I'm going to put zero, comma, zero, comma, zero point eight. So that will crush him down. Semicolon. Next thing we need to do is we need to bring our mushroom man down because although we're scaling him, we're shrinking him, he will kind of scale into the middle. So we need to bring him down back onto the ground, and we can do that by using a local position. So next line down is mushroom man dot transform dot local position minus equals new vector three open bracket zero comma zero comma and here instead of putting zero point eight we're gonna put uh, zero point four or I think generally if we do it half of what we've put for the local scale should do the trick. So 0 0.4, close bracket, semicolon. Next line down, all we need to do, uh, what I've got left is we need to wait for, let's say, uh, one second. And then after that one second, we then need him to disappear. So we need to use the yield function. Yield, wait for seconds. and I think one second should be an appropriate amount of time. We don't want to uh, leave him lingering too much, but if you want to leave him lingering, uh, just miss out this line of code. So I'm going to leave him for one second. And then after that, what I need to do is I am going to, rather than destroy the object, I think, that was my initial intention, I think I'm just going to move the uh, Mushroom Man object to somewhere we'll never see, like we did with the coins. I think it'd be easier because we won't come across any problems that way. So it would be mushroom man dot um, transform uh, dot position equals vector three open bracket and let's put him somewhere way down below where we'll never ever ever actually see on the camera. So we'll do zero comma minus 1000 comma zero close bracket semicolon and close curly bracket to finish the function so head back into unity and give it a second to think about what we've just done uh, it shouldn't take too long so now we need to um, take mushroom man death and bring it onto the death collider over here so drag and drop Death Collider, and we should see it there. Now we just need to drag and drop Mushroom Man onto there, onto our only variable that we've got. Now, with any luck, hopefully we'll be able to run over here, jump on our Mushroom, and he will crush. If he doesn't, you may need to increase the scale of our Death Collider, but let's see how this goes just for now. Let's head over. And let's jump on him. Oops, missed him. Yeah, I'm having problems here. 
Okay, so there still appears to be a problem. I think the reason being is because the box collider for the uh, Mushroom Man himself is actually above the collider for death. So what we could do is we could do with shrink, uh, sorry, bringing up this collider just there and seeing if it is above uh, the Mushroom Man. I think it is just there. Okay, yep, so that looks fine there. So just make sure this Death Collider is actually above the Mushroom Man Collider itself. So now when we press play, fingers crossed, this should work. Let's head over there, jump on top of our Mushroom Man. If I can actually get it right. And there we go, he's crushed and gone. And that's how you do it. So to get rid of that floating block, it looks like, all you need to do, Death Collider, Untick Mesh Renderer. So now that's created the Mushroom Man, which moves all the way through the level, or whichever way you've selected. And you can also jump on him and crush him. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so you get the point either way. It's probably best to extend the uh, Death Collider a little bit, so you have a bit more range to actually jump and destroy the mushroom himself. So next time what we're going to be doing is um, we'll, we will come back to our enemy. We've got the main sort of basics of our enemy going. We're going to be working on this question mark box. So when we jump our box, uh, it changes to the brown box, which I think we've already imported at one point. No, we haven't, but we'll import that. And we'll have our mushroom pop out and we'll have our mushroom move about. So that is the focus of the next episode. Um, so yeah, you play around with your mushroom man. You, If you want to get the proper um, actual object for him, then you do. As I say, I've just used this as um, a temporary fix. And I didn't want to use a cube because it just wouldn't have felt quite right. So until next episode, um, thank you very much for watching.